All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponent on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. A near-perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and in out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always lifts the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never oh, on the center exactly. line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida, Super! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big call for punch land. Now he's 
gets back to range. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. All the dirty boxing paying dividends tonight. Big kick lands. Oh. Real sneak by two. That's a big strike right there. Oh, big knee there. Catching the leg, so clearly he is starting to find his timing not just offensively but defensively as well. Very good read there. Able to check the high kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Kick lands. Hands up, hands up. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. He is all about that left kick to the body. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, collar tie. Left hand punch to the swing. Both guys really throwing with authority. And he landed the right hand there. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Watch the shot. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Right hand upstairs. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. 15 seconds to go. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Final seconds here. Oh, big left hand there. Second round, straight ahead. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Big kick. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. He's 
throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, big kick lands flush. Knee to the body. Nice head kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Wow, massive uppercut. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And he caught the kick. He blocks the punch. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Body kick is blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice loop and punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Nice punch lands over the top. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Blocks that strike. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Slips the punch. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike. Until he makes it, stop going. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Ooh, Superman punch lands. Spinning back fist. All right, single collar tie now. Left hand punch with the clinch. Big kick lands. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big power shot there. Yeah, left hook found its target. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Come on, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect.
All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not head hunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. He loaded up there on that high kick. Circling to his right. Nice one-two there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Spinning back fist. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Good work blocking the knee. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So he lands another strike here. To you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such tough to even be on his feet right now. as well. Watch knees to the body. Switching stances here. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. now remain in the round. <laughs> nice, sneaky head kick. Ten seconds now to go in the round. <laughs> and 
And right. that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, that is the end of the round, and the cut on his lip has gotten really, really bad. And at this point, you at least have to ask the question as to whether or not it's affecting his breathing. I think if this cut gets any worse, the doctor's going to have no choice but to step in, protect the fighter, and stop the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Good stick. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Big leg kick land. There. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Nice head kick. Oh, good kicks. Big leg kick land. Outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into his opponent's stop. Beat his leg up. Let's go, guys. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Just missed with the leg kick. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get this plan exactly where you want it. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. Nice strike. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Lands the right hand. Oh, big punch land. Under a minute to go in round four. We need to take it out now. Oh, he's 
his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Oh man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Whoa! How about those five minutes? All right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed, scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. Last round. You got one more round for me? Give me a good five minutes here. We got this one, man. You just got to throw those jabs. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks Ready? in the previous round, we'll Ready? see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets in. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Wow, what a kick! to go here in the fight. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Well, what got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, spinning back fist. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Good punch. Huge block there. Got the single collar tie, and they separate. Nice. Nice punch, Lance. 
The big liver kick lands under the elbow. Until he blocks it, you better keep throwing those body kicks. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do it. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break it? So we go under a minute to go in the fight. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. 20 seconds to go in the fight. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. What a fight! All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. The winner by unanimous decision, Iron. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.